Hello everyone, this is Green Ninja Productions here, and today I'm going to show you something. It's kind of a work in progress. It is a Shapeways Perse it's a Shapeways GWR saddle tank, and I painted it up to look like Percy. And I had to repaint the face too. So yeah, I'm waiting for the wheels to come. It's probably near it's very near where I live, but it's taking a long time. Since it's on Father's Day and all that. So you see I put his NWR. Oh yeah guys, let me um explain what's happening, what happened to this model. So when I first painted it, all the yellow all the yellow stuff that's painted on the model, all the yellow stuff that's painted on the model was actually gold, like the dome and the top of the funnel. And it didn't actually look good, so if you actually just don't put anything on it, you just painted it as soon as you get it using apple bar paint, you have to repaint it three times. I'm letting you know that from experience. So back here was kind of rough. You can see the little textures on there. It's kind of rough a little bit. Overall, Percy is a work in progress. When I get the chassis, the wheels I'm going to be using is a um, 040, is a 040 British Railway Pug. That's gonna be the wheel chassis, like lots of people do. This cost me fifty-three dollars in U.S. money. I don't know how much it will actually cost in British money. I have to actually look that up. See, so, yeah, some like I know that blue. I didn't know that blue belt fifty-five twenty-nine actually did this from Shapeways. I thought this. I thought this tire part right here, the boiler was from a pug. And the entire chassis right here was just on, um, from the pug. He used the pug boiler and a Bombin Percy cab and a smoke box. That's what I thought he had did. But no, he actually just went to Shapeways and bought this. I'll let you know, this is going to be the last thing I buy from Shapeways for a while. Because right now, um, um, if I move 7080 out of the way, this jig right here, see I put Northwestern on it, on the side, on both sides actually. Says Northwestern. Um, this is the size of a Hornby Thomas compared to the shape waist Percy. Let me see if I can line it up with the buffers. Okay, the buffers are lined up. That's the size. Oh, sorry, my fingers in the way. So, um, yeah, I'm actually gonna put realistic coal inside. When I get the wheels, probably maybe today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. But when I do get all the pieces to finish this model, I will show it on YouTube. And don't worry. Also, uh, I'm probably going to hold back the Hornby Thomas um, video for when I unbox it. I'm probably going to hold it back for a little while. At least until after the Percy project. Because it's supposed to be my summer project right here. And so, um, yeah, the Hornby Thomas video is going to be held back until this video right here is finished, completely finished. Okay, everyone, this is Green Ninja Productions, signing out.